Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a list of things that I will not be buying in January 2024. I know that you have seen a ton of these videos around. I know I have. And I wanted to jump in on the fun and put in my list of certain things that I'm not buying in the month of January because yes, I do partake in No Buy January almost every single year. And then I guess it's never really been like a thing as far as like social media and telling the things that you're not going to buy until this year. I don't know. I guess it's just one of those social media trends that's going around and I want to partake in it. So um, with my handy dandy notebook, I will go through the whole list of things that I will not be purchasing throughout the month of January. First thing that I always have at the top of my list every single year that I do not buy in January is clothes. Now with my job, I do receive a lot of clothes in PR throughout the whole entire year. And so I really actually over the past three years, I really haven't had to buy a ton of clothes unless it was something that I just absolutely loved and had to have. So if you follow my PR videos that I put out once a month, you will see that I really don't buy like a ton, ton of stuff. I think what I'm trying to say is I'm usually more selective now since I do receive so many things. Like I'm able to stay with the trends just by doing what I do. And along with clothes is shoes. Now, I actually, and I should have grabbed them, I wore them today. I really do need a new pair of solid black tennis shoes because the ones that I have I bought when we lived in Alabama and that was like two-ish years ago and I use them for Zumba I use them for running I use them for walking that like those are my go-to athletic shoes but I'm not gonna purchase any new ones because they're are no holes in them like the bottom sides are completely flat like there's no grooves on them that's how worn out they are I can feel my toe prints on the inside of the insoles, but I'm not gonna buy a new pair in the month of January because I have other pairs that I can use. I've got pink ones. Actually, I've got multiple pairs of pink ones. I've got a couple pairs of Jordans. I've got a pair of um, like gray Adidas that I can wear. And to be honest, I can still wear my solid black Nikes because there's no holes in them. And so until a hole gets in them, I will continue to wear them even after January just because I don't want to have to buy a new pair of tennis shoes. Moving into accessories. I will not be purchasing any jewelry in the month of January. So I receive necklaces and earrings and um, rings and all kinds of different things throughout the year. And I actually just got a new pair of earrings from my in-laws for Christmas this year. I've got necklaces that my kids have gotten me for Mother's Day. I've got rings that I normally wear. Um, my wedding band, actually, I'm not even wearing it right now. I had a diamond loose, then it's being um, fixed. Anyways, besides the point. And I really feel like I already have all the jewelry basics that I need. And then I did just purchase a the gold um, statement earrings from Revolve, like, in December and I really like I'm good I'm really not too much of a jewelry person like there are a few pieces that I look at here and there like um, ankle bracelets and um, regular bracelets and cuffs and all these fun things but I'm not gonna do it in the month of January sticking with accessories I am not going to be purchasing any new handbags. If you have been following along for a while, you know that I am a collector of handbags. I love handbags. I love designer handbags. I really don't need any new handbags. Like, I have all of my bases covered as far as I can, like, mentally, like, think and see in my head. Like, I'm good on bags. I did just recently, within the past few months, purchase two new bags. So I got a Telfar bag and a Versace bag. And so, like... Just with the collection that I have, I, like, I'm good on bags for the time being. And we have February coming up, and I already have a heart bag. I have pink bags. So, I have the clutches. So, I'm good on bags for right now. And whenever time comes for me to get a new bag, it won't be in January. I can promise you that. Moving on to a different category, let's go into skincare. I did not cancel my subscriptions. Like, I know a lot of people are like canceling subscriptions. 
personally, I really, really enjoy my Ipsy and I didn't cancel it and I'm probably not going to unless it comes down to like I need to or I have to situation. So this month in January, I, I think there is one or two pieces of skincare and I usually don't buy skincare anyways. And the only makeup that I buy is usually like the things that have to be replaced like foundation and mascara and brow pencils because everything else like the eyeshadows the blushes the bronzers the contours the eyeliner comes in my ipsy and if i can get away with it i try to get the mascara in the ipsy box because it's already included in one price and i don't have to worry about purchasing one whenever i go to the store so it's like girl math it's coming in my ipsy so it's like basically free right but really mainly with not purchasing skincare um if you've missed it um I was diagnosed uh, about two months ago. I have officially been diagnosed with rosacea. And so I have a prescription that um, I have already, that I bought last, at the end of last year. And it's good for another month or two at least. And so I will have no skincare to purchase, like just going to the store or online to buy things. And then I think I am... I do have a moisturizer that is being sent to me, but that's in PR. It's not like I'm spending my money on it. So I guess that'll be two in one makeup and skincare. And the next thing, which I am such a sucker for, like you would not believe I am such a sucker for like the health remedies. Like if I hear and I see a bunch of reviews and people talking about like things that's going to help you be healthier, help your, um, insides be better I am hook line and sinker okay gonna buy it period so I have the black castor oil I have uh sea moss to make sea moss tea I have slippery elm to help with the gut I I am telling you like I want to be the healthiest that I can be if it's a cleanse that has good benefits and doesn't strip me of my nutrients I'm gonna buy it I have Celtic salt. I have started implementing Celtic salt under my tongue every single day, multiple times a day to get the minerals that my body needs. And so that's one of like the silver linings of the health benefits of it. Like it's really good for you if you are consistent with it, but I just, I, I'm a sucker for them. And so I've made a vow that anything that comes out brand new, in a January, I'm not going to buy it. Like, I haven't bought anything so far, and I'm not going to buy it for the rest of, until I really, like, at least in January, okay? I can't make any promises after January. After January, all bets are off, because I'm a sucker for health, and health fitness, and health benefits, and because health is wealth, right? You can be the richest person in the world, but if you do not have good health, you have nothing, okay? Nothing. Moving on before I get any further into this whole rant. But not only am I a sucker for health remedy things, I'm also a sucker for books. Especially books that um, are health related. Like I bought a book called um, The Cholesterol Con. I have not read it yet. But I bought the book and it's in there on my bookshelf. And that's what I should do. I should make a, a video of things that I'm going to do um, instead of what I'm not going to do. Anyways, I have not read it yet. It is on my list of things to do. Like I said earlier, I just, I really want to know more things about the body, about my body, how things work. And I have a ton of books that have to do with health. I have um, bought a ton of books over the past several years that I have not even cracked open. But I have them. I have them. If somebody comes down with the mumps in my house, I can go to that book and I can read on how they did it in the old days to cure it. Um, I have books, um, spiritual books, um, um, inspirational books, and then I also have the fantasy type books. Like I have really, really been into Erin Hildebrand, I think is how you say her name. Um, I bought her first book back in 2020 and it was like 28 summers or something like that. And every summer since then I have bought one of her books. Now I've done pretty good with keeping up with reading them, except for this past year. I did not read that one fully through. I think it's called like the golden girl. And that is one that I really want to finish. I'm halfway through that one. I want to finish reading that one. I want to finish reading the other things 
the other um, about food and the food industry in the United States. And um, anyways, so I have got about 10 books that I have not opened at all. I saw them, I bought them, and they went on my shelf, and I never touched them again. So all I do is dust them, and then I look at them, and I'm like, I should really read that. Oh, and the Britney Spears book. I bought that. I read the first like three chapters. Hello. That's a good one. I never picked it up again. I'm such a sucker for books. It is unreal. But I'm going to say throughout the month, uh, throughout the whole year, I'm not going to buy a book this year unless I've already read the ones that I bought that's on my shelf. I'm not going to buy another book, period. Like that's something that I, that's like a, a vow that I should make to myself. No more books until you read all the ones in there. Moving on to the kitchen. I will not, and I'm going to say this kind of like with the books thing. This is going to be for the whole year. The whole year of 2024. I'm not buying any cups. We have got so many coffee cups, so many tumblers, so many water bottles. This, uh, the Stanley cup, I didn't even touch that because I already knew. I already knew. We don't need that. I'm sure not spending that much, that much money on it. But we have so many cups. Steven got two new mugs for Christmas this year. Okay? So, no more cups in this house. We're busting at the seams. Even last year, that was another thing that I had on, um, on my list of no buys was cups. I even had to tell my family, do not buy me any cups, no tumblers, nothing that has to do with drinking liquids out of. Do not buy them. And if one breaks, you know what? I'm not going to buy another one to replace it. It's fine. If it breaks, it's done. Bye. Okay? No more cups for the whole entire year of 2024. And sticking with the kitchen. I guess kind of kitchen, kind of other things. Organization. Organization storage. Okay. So, I have started and I've, I started years ago with trying like I, I even have like baskets I still use the baskets for like um hot chocolate and snacks and crackers and seasonings and, and everything I try to keep my pantry organized well over the past two years organization videos on TikTok are so evil they're evil they get me all the time and it's like oh I really need that I really need that I'm gonna use that so what happens is I do not order them online because I'm always scared of measurements, right? So I never really order them online. But if I go into a store like a Target or Ross or whatever, I get the ones with the clicky tops. That's the ones that I really like, the ones that push the air out so it makes them airtight. So I've got them for the spaghetti. I've got them for lasagna. We've got them for, um, for all of the my baking stuff. I have them all, right? I do want more because I really think that they are very beneficial. I bought four different container things at TJ Maxx in December for my bathroom. I eventually would like to get some other ones for the girls' room, for Gavin's bathroom. Um, but it's not going to be this month. Not in January. And I guess sticking with the household topic or category, home decor. I don't need it. I am still working on... Um, updating this house that we moved into. I'm currently in Steven's office. He's on um, a customer meeting right now, so he is not home. I haven't even painted in this room yet. There's shelves hanging in this room that were here when we bought this house in August. I know there are several things that I do want, but I'm not going to buy them in January. I know I'm going I'm looking for a mirror in my for my dining room. I am on the hunt for a rug specifically for the living room. So anyways, I have things on my list of things that I I know that I want to get and I'm just kind of keeping my eyes peeled for them. But I'm not going to do it in January because I'm not even going into stores to look for those things because I know if I see something and it's just perfect, I'm going to buy it and then that's going to make me out to be a liar, right? And we're not buying home decor in 2024, January 2024. Not doing it. Not doing it. And the next thing, my kids are really the worst about this. It's kind of me, but it's kind of them too. And that is buying movies on Amazon. Not the hard, like a DVD, not those. The digital. So 
if we're looking for a movie and it's not on Netflix and it's not on Peacock and it's not on Paramount, so we have a lot of subscriptions, okay? So it's not on any of those. Um, then they go to Amazon Prime because I have Prime. But most of the movies on Prime, you have to either rent or, or buy the whole thing, right? You just got to buy it. And especially between Halloween and Christmas, we bought so many movies because it was a better deal to buy the movie as opposed to rent it. Because you could buy it for 10 bucks, but you're going to rent it for $3.99. What sense does that make? You might as well just buy it if you're going to, like, if it's a movie that we're going to watch, you better make sure it's one that we're going to watch. But, and I think my card is connected because my youngest daughter, I would just go through and I would get notifications on my email. Amazon purchase movie. Amazon Prime purchase movie. Whatever it says. But we're not buying anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to delete my card off of there because, yeah, she's kind of in hot water over that one. And last but not least, I think we're on like number 10 or 11. Um... Seeds. So, as most of you know, I have been gardening. I picked up gardening um, in 2020 when I thought the world was coming to an end and all the government stuff. So, I was like, well, my God, I've got to learn how to grow my own food. So, I took up gardening. I researched, researched, researched. I read articles. I watched videos. And I am a self-taught gardener and all the different things that go in with gardening. And one thing that I found myself doing every single year, every year, seeds, buying seeds. I would not I would go into Lowe's and I'm like, oh, well, I need a couple of those and a couple of those. And before you know it, you've got, you spent 70 bucks on seeds. And um, I have, I've got seeds out the ears right now. I am not buying any more seeds for this month and probably for the whole year. That's like, I have got a whole Walmart sack plus a box full of seeds. So, I'm good on seeds for a while. And then, I don't even have a big space here like I had before. It's a really tiny little space to, to like, even grow anything. So, I'm good on seeds for now. And that's it for today's video of my No Spin January and... Like, now that I'm speaking it and saying it, it's kind of nerve-wracking because I usually just like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to buy that. I don't ever, like, write it down. I just, I just don't do it. You know, like, I, clothes. I just don't buy clothes. I don't write it down. I don't speak it. I don't tell people. And so now it's like, I want to go buy clothes now, but I am going to hold myself accountable and I need you guys to help hold me accountable. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. What are some things that you are not buying in the month of January or the whole year? Because I know some people are being super brave and doing a no spend 2024 and um, buying things in 2024 is an ick and all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's kind of like a new thing, like that we're going into and that we're seeing there's not like people are pulling back on their consumerism. And I mean, I help with the consumer, like I feed into that statistic. And I think that starting with small goals like a January or um, a week or even like a no spend day or whatever, it's, it's like a new thing, but it's kind of scary. And anyways, I'm continuing to ramble and I'm sure you guys want to go. Okay, so thanks for watching so much. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not already. It really helps me. It really helps my channel get out there into the algorithm and it helps people find my videos. And I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye.